Got a 2004 Kia Spectra 5 with the 2.0 liter. It's suffering from rough idle, and then also it has sometimes an erratic high idle that is uh, kind of just making the car run real rough. Uh, we'll go ahead and start it up right now, let you see uh, what we're talking about. Uh, the car also has an exhaust leak, so just keep in mind that might be a, another thing you're hearing. But we're going to go ahead and start it up right now. As you can see, it starts up right away. Let me get in there. It's running a little rough. And we do have a check engine light on. It is for the... Oh, there's the high idle that I was talking about. We do have a check engine light on, too. It's for the P3... Uh, P3000. And I think that's for the multiple misfires. That would also be explained with this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, clean this idle air control valve as we think that's what the uh, culprit is and see if that will fix it. Let's get doing that right now. Alright, so right now we're going to go ahead and disconnect the idle air control valve. The way you're going to do that is by disconnecting this harness right here. Little tab on the bottom. You just pull up on it and pull it out. And the idle air control valve is this piece right here. Uh, you can use a 12 millimeter. I have my 12 millimeter attached to my quarter inch drive ratchet. I'm just going to zip out these two bolts right here. If you don't start, you can usually bust them out with your fingers. There's one. Just put it in somewhere that you'll keep, keep it. Just going to pull this off to get a little more room. Bottom one's a little tighter than the top one. You have a short correction to earlier, 10 millimeter. Go ahead and uh, disconnect that out. Alright, now that, that bolts out, let's go and look at it right here. So you got your gasket right here. And then this is what controls uh, the idle air control inside here, left and right. We're just going to go ahead and clean it with carburetor cleaner. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and clean out both sides of the um, idle air control valve. And we're going to use carburetor cleaner. Just picked that up from any local hardware store. Just going to go ahead and spray it in there. Get it nice and good everywhere. Dump it out. Do it again. Just kind of cleaning it out. Um, you might, <laughs> you also could uh, clean it out with like a little bristle brush. I'm gonna also use a uh, um, the air hose to clean it out a little bit more. But yeah, you're just trying to get all that carbon soot and residue out of there. Uh, do the best you can, and then we're gonna put it back together. All right, so uh, what it was doing before is this little valve inside here, uh, right inside there, wasn't working before. Now it is working. You can see, now you can see it opening and closing. What I did is I cleaned it out with carburetor cleaner. And I also hit it on the ground a few times. Uh, just kind of knocking the spring inside of there, getting it to work. And it's good to go now. So we're going to go ahead and put this back together. All right, now that we have the idle air control valve all cleaned and ready to go and we tested it, it seems to be working. We're going to go ahead and put it back on. We're going to grab our two 10 millimeter uh, bolts. I'm going to start them with our hands. That way we don't cross thread them. This one can be a little finicky with that hose in the way. You can choose to remove it. I usually don't. I'm going to start the top one first. See if that can help me start the bottom one here. Alright, got them both started. Now I'm going to take my uh, 10 millimeter with my quarter inch drive. Oops. 
I bought a one. It's a real pain in the butt. Okay, just tighten them up snug. I don't know the exact torque specifications, but I just do it not too tight, but tight enough to snug it up. And then I'm gonna plug this back in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. All right, we got it all uh, put back together now, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to start this up now. And just like that, runs perfect, looking good. I think this one's all set and ready to go. Please like and subscribe, and look for other videos. Thank you.